Hello, my friends. It's episode 90. Let's go. Okay. Three turns remaining. Kind of weird that Australia did not surrender, so I assume that if I take the council, they just quit. They didn't surrender when they came. That's quite the alignment of good units they've got there. It would be a shame if something were to happen to them. Very little damage getting done by them.
know, my biggest annoyance about this is the way that humans can be teleported in the upbringing. There are no surprises. Why would you even need to keep units at your border when you could just teleport them in at a moment's notice? Especially if the town is like not right on the front line. Like there's no way to get to this town quickly enough. You can't force march into area you can't see. supply one morale 21% readiness and he still gets the better end of that trade it's really kind of silly landing directly on the final objective having Sydney hit, having Sydney captured is actually super useful for this is around somewhere but if it appears I've got naval bombers in position to just deal with it Thank you. 
Looks like you didn't defend your butt. here and take Goa, but I'm just not sure about leaving Bombay undefended. Okay, I'm pretty sure that there's no no units in Goa, but I just... It's a HQ. I'll drop this HQ here. can use the extra HQs to chain supply together. Yeah, I can't do anything here. Look, they've like teleported in a huge army. There's nothing I can do about that for now. So have to keep buying special forces teams and go after Australia, I guess. And India. So I should get at least seven supply once it repairs. So I can just sit here and repair the uh, Italian Expeditionary Force. Move this here and this and just transport these two over here. When this is fully healed and ready to uh, 
to push onwards, it will strike into the uh, hind quarters of uh, of Russia. Of course, they'll undoubtedly teleport units in to stop me, but I mean, they can't just keep teleporting stuff in everywhere. They don't have infinite units, so far as I know. mobility, it's just that it's winter. I wonder how the old Russian cruisers are doing. Wow, I did nothing. There's, there's two, if you remember, I never killed either of them. There's two cruisers down here. I'd hoped to take the port and kill them after the port was taken. Then I just realized that if there's two of them, they can't both be in dock at the same time now that I've taken this and this and this. There's nowhere for the second one to hide.
do anything because of the winter penalty. There's no, you know, offensive bonuses halved. Guys in the hurt locker are uh, almost dead. I'm gonna assume that he's gonna move here and try and link them back up. And I can't actually block that. Because none of these guys have got enough movement left. But either way, this forward tank position should force the rebase of these. Maybe I'll uh, buy some mechanized. just because I can grind out more more attacks with them. They're weaker than armies, but uh, you can just hit with them over and over. Okay. for me to do for now. I could probably could just do with buying another HQ here. a low ball twice on this guy the last time I hit him I low balled as well so he should be dead but instead he is very much alive with 2 HP I should be able to zero supply these guys Okay. Alright, I think that's it. I can't break this position. I can't break that position.
There's still a Chinese HQ down here. That's so weird, like... How is there a Chinese HQ down there? China's dead, so... There shouldn't be any more of their units. This is a full partisan, so it will just. Uh, if I don't block it, then units will start appearing. But if I move this garrison here, I can free up this unit to take this town back. Just secure. Let's uh, put this guy back on. In fact, I could move this up. I could move it to Bangkok, give it mobility, and then move it up to Rangoon. Let's see about taking that instead, because I've got a HQ here. So I could get up here and then, like, sit here and enjoy the benefits of having an HQ in the area. Russian morale is pretty low. But is it low enough? That's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time.